Hello all, welcome to the Make Your Own Hacker Gadget series at Pentester Academy. Now in the last video, we had a quick introduction to the hardware we are going to use and in this one, we are going to take the router and flash open WRT on it, right? So I have unboxed my TP-Link, right? For a $35 router, the boxing uh, and the packaging is actually quite fantastic. I have my TP-Link in here. I have the USB cable which came with the router. This is what is going to provide power to it. And then I have my Ethernet cable as well. Now the setup for the lab is simple. Uh, Go ahead, take the router out of the box and plug the Ethernet to your laptop and go ahead and give it USB power so that the router can boot up. There we go. Now, the question arises, why do we need open WRT on it? So by default, what you would notice is TP-Link you know, has its own vendor created firmware in there. And that can be very limiting to us from a pen testing perspective. So similar to the reason why you would go ahead and jailbreak your iPhone or root your Android so that you can have access to all the low level features on the device. Similarly, to create your own little hacker gadget, it is required that we control every aspect of the software and open WRT, given it's completely open source uh, flavor of Linux, allows us to control everything on the device. Okay, so you have to give it a few seconds and after that your device would have booted up completely. Now open up a browser and let's type in the URL. It's basically 0 0.254 is the default IP address of TP-Link and it should give you a DHCP based address as well, right? Remember to ensure that the switch is set to 3G, 4G, which is the default config uh, which the router has out of the box, right? So we can see we are inside the TP-Link interface I think I've already entered once or this is what you would be presented with. The password is admin as well. Very secure as you can clearly see out of the box. And you would be presented with this interface. Now, the very first step is to know your firmware version and all the other details. So click on system tools and then click on firmware upgrade and you would have all the details in there. It says 317.2 specific build and the hardware version is MR3020 version one. Now this information is very, very important at times simply because you might have to flash a specific version of OpenWRT for a specific hardware version. In some cases, certain hardware versions might not even be supported. Right, so keep that in mind. Verify this for the device. Now, once you do that and you actually use the link we had given in the last video, you would arrive on this page. And actually, this is there even on this video. Right, click on the link, it's there in the slides. And this link would give you all the information you require to load open WRT on the device. Now I'll guide you through step by step. If we click on hardware, you would actually find there are instructions on how to open the case, etc. We don't need them as of now. Uh, I'll probably go into, you know, unboxing and looking at the hardware and probably even uh, going ahead and, you know, connecting to the pins using a serial interface and all that much later in this series. But for the time being, it suffice to see that, uh, you know, you have a fairly simple board. 
and the different chips are mentioned here the processor is AR7240 you can click and figure out the details if that interests you the Wi-Fi chipset is an AR9331 uh, which again is an interesting piece of information okay now let's go ahead to installing OpenWRT now the reason I chose the MR3020 is it's fairly simple to actually load OpenWRT on it. So the one I'm going to use is the latest attitude adjustment. You can click and download. I have already downloaded it. So it's available to me. Uh, so the method is the GUI method as an example. So download this locally. And once you do, then you can go to your MR3020 router click on choose file I'll just pause the video while I choose the file the same one I just told you to download from this link over here attitude adjustment latest okay so let me select the file and this is the one we would have downloaded Open WRT AR71XX generic TLMR3020 for version 1. And now let's click on upgrade. Now remember, while the upgrade is happening, ensure that the Ethernet is connected. You have sufficient power, uh, you know, given to the access point. So if you're probably using a wired, uh, so if you're probably using a desktop machine, ensure you have a power backup and all of that right the worst thing is in between flashing this new firmware if there is an interruption the only way you might be able to recover is using the serial interface and it can be a pain to set that up right as we'll see much later in the video series so let's click on upgrade now the upgrade process would go through twice the very first time it goes from 1 to 100 and then it restarts once again and goes from 1 to 100 so give it some amount of time do not be in a hurry now keep in mind at this point we are flashing it with the open wrt firmware and after this the default ip address would change to 192.168.1.1 so I'll come to that in just a bit. Let's give it a second. Remember, do not interrupt. Do not do anything on the system at this point. Right? So now you will see the progress bar go through once again. And now the actual restart is being initiated. So again, let's wait for it. Let's wait for it to go to 100%. And then I'll show you how to access the router. And clearly see, till now, what we are doing, the process itself is really very simple, right? nothing fancy as I said right if you ever configured a router and configured an access point you should be able to do this this should be almost done Right, it says now refresh the browser. Now at this point the IP address has changed so this, this won't work anymore. Let's open up a terminal and now let me briefly disconnect my ethernet and connect it back so that I can get the new DHCP based address. Quickly do an if config zero 
And if you notice, I received an IP address 192.168.1.183. Now, let me actually tell net to the router. So, by default, the router has an IP 192.168.1.1 and telnet is enabled. And there you go. Let me actually shorten this up a little bit so that you can see the whole screen. There you go. Right? Fantastic. Wireless freedom. Absolutely. And then they have, you know, a little recipe here. <laughs> which you can try out if you like. Now, the only thing we need to do at this point uh, is to go ahead and reset the password, right? So let's use password. I'm just going to set this to open WRT so that I remember. There you go. Now, what this is running is really busy box. You could actually do uh, basically a help and play with this. But honestly, we're going to get ourselves a much better interface shortly. So after changing the password, I'm going to exit. I'm going to go back to my browser again. And this time around, type in 192.168.1.1. So now it loads up a new interface, uh, you know, and this is created with what is called Lucy. And this is the open WRT interface to the router, right? The TP-Link one is gone entirely. And now we are going to interact with the open WRT one. So the password is open WRT. The one which I had set up right now over Telnet and I've logged in. Honestly, I like the open WRT interface, right? There is a ton of information in here as you can clearly see, right? You could look at the processes running on the system wasn't available in the last case you can look at the syslog the kernel log uh, you can do a bunch of stuff in here right fantastic so hopefully you enjoyed this video and you should have open wrt now set up on your mr3020 now in the next video we will talk about package management connecting to a wireless network so that we can go ahead and download the packages and all of that stuff, right? So that should be fun. And if you're enjoying your time at Pentested Academy, then please do recommend us to your friends and colleagues in the InfoSec community. Thank you.